open my eyes, Lord. Help me to see your face. Open my eyes, Lord. Help me to see. Open my ears, Lord. Help me to see your voice. Open my ears, Lord. Help me to hear. Dear brothers and sisters, we offer this Mass for Catherine Gatley. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And Dear brothers and sisters, let us offer this day and this week to God our Father. May His Holy Spirit continue to grant us the grace we need to work for the coming of His kingdom among us. Let's also open our hearts to God mercy so that we can be worthy of offering him this holy Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have tried to do, through my fault, through my thought, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation. Nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that, with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast over now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord said to me, Go buy yourself a linen loincloth. Wear it on your loins, but do not put it in water. I bought the loincloth as the Lord commanded and put it on. A second time, the word of the Lord came to me thus. Take the loincloth which you bought and are wearing, and go now to the parap. There, hide it in a cleft of the rock. Obedient to the Lord's command, I went to the parap and buried the loincloth. After a long interval, the Lord said to me, Go now to the parrot and fetch the loincloth which I told you to hide there. Again, I went to the parrot, 
sought out and took the loincloth from the place where I had hid it. But it was rotted, good for nothing. Then the message came to me from the Lord. Thus says the Lord, So also I will allow the pride of Judah to rot, the great pride of Jerusalem. This wicked people who refuse to obey my words, who walk in the stubbornness of their hearts, and follow strange gods to serve and adore them, shall be like this loincloth, which is good for nothing. For as close as the loincloth clings to the man's loins, so had I made the whole house of Israel and the whole house of Judah cling to me, says the Lord, to be my people, my renown, my praise, my beauty. But they did not listen. The word of the Lord. The response story on song, you have forgotten God who gave you birth. You You have forgotten God God who gave you birth. birth. You were unmindful of the rock that begot you. You forgot the God who gave you birth. When the Lord saw this, he was filled with loathing and anger toward his sons and daughters. You You have have forgotten forgotten God God who gave gave you birth. birth. I will hide my face from them, he said and see what will then become of them. What a fickle race they are, sons with no loyalty in them. You You have have forgotten God who gave you birth. Since they have provoked me with their no God and angered me with their vain idols, I will provoke them with a no people. With a foolish nation, I will anger them. You You have have forgotten forgotten God God who gave you birth. proposed a parable to the crowd. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a person took and sowed in a field. It is the smallest of the seeds, yet when full grown, it is the largest of plants. It becomes a large bush, and the birds of the sky come and dwell in its branches. He spoke to them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed with three mergers of wheat flour until the whole batch was leavened. All these things Jesus spoke to the crowds in parables. He spoke to them only in parables to fulfill what has been said through the prophet, I will open my mouth in a parable. I will announce what has learned hidden from the foundation of the word. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, God send us in this world we are not like uh, that buried loin cloth we had in the first reading 
when the loin cloth is buried and when you take it out of the ground it is rotted and it is good for nothing God sent us in this world he didn't bury us to be good for nothing but God sent us in this world to be good for his kingdom the kingdom of heaven to be good for working so that the kingdom of God can be built in our midst that is our mission here on earth that is why God sent us we can be like that mustard seed, a small one, but when we put it in the ground, it will become a big three. But the mustard seed become a good a big three because as a seed, it has life. As a seed, it has that possibility of growing up and becoming a big three. You and me, dear brothers and sisters, we have life. You and me, dear brothers and sisters, God created us with that possibility of working hard so that to change the world in a positive way. Jesus God created us with that possibility in us to work in the way that we can impact our world positively like the yeast impact the flower to love and God also created us with all those possibilities to impact positively the world we are living today. So in this Eucharist, we are going to pray, may the Holy Spirit help us anytime to be aware of the possibilities that God put in us so that we can work our hard for those possibilities to become a real reality to transform our world and may the holy spirit grant us the grace we need to be like yeast to be like a master said May the Holy Spirit help us to be those people who work for communion. Those people who treat every human being like child of God because created in the image and likeness of God our Father. Dear brothers and sisters, let's now present our petition to God our Father for ourselves and for the entire world. For those who have authority in the church, that they may never set up idols according to the pressure of society, but remain faithful to the true God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the law given to Moses and inscribed on the tablets of every human heart may be the guiding light of men and women invested with power in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the kingdom of heaven may grow in us like yeast in the dough, leavening our heaviness, 
gently raising us up to the Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Jesus, who came to announce what was hidden, may open the secret of peace, grace, and healing to those who have asked our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God's angel may go before the souls of our departed loved ones, leading them into the promised land of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Catherine, for whom this mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, our Father, hear the petition we present to you in the name of Jesus, your Son. And may his mother, our mother Mary, continue to intercede for the healing of the wounded. As we pray, Hail Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness of received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hand, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness of receive the one we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hand, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, may my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift it up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hand as he endured his passion, so as to break the bounds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Heavenly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Sean our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially Catherine, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and martyrs, with Saint Martha and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co earths to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter unlikely, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all his benefits. Mm. 
An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. We have consumed, O oh Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying God by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Ooh.